So Manchester City are on the brink of becoming one of England's immortal uh, football teams this season. If they beat International Ali on Saturday, they become only the second English team to win the treble. That's the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League. This is really the sort of um, promised land for any football team. You can maybe trace back the modern day club or the sort of the start of this journey from the 1999 playoff final. The trailing to Gillingham and then Paul Dickoff's la sort of last gasp goal takes the game into extra time. There's no more goals and they win on a penalty shootout. They get promoted. They have a sort of rough and tumble period in the Premier League. And then, of course, you have the modern, sort of really modern era City. They buy um, Rubinho, uh, players like David Silva, Sergio Aguero comes to the club, Joe Hart is already there, but he becomes a first team player. And they bring in Roberto Mancini. And then from 2011, they win the FA Cup. So that's the first major trophy since 1976 to 2011. The following season, 2011-12, is, is the Aguero goal, uh, Premier League uh, title win. And then from there, it's kind of been, not on broken success, but basically Pellegrini came in to replace Mancini, Manuel Pellegrini, they win the title. And then, of course, Pep Guardiola arrives summer 2016. He wins nothing, actually, in his first um, first season. This is 2016, so I mean, absolutely zero. And he only just kind of squeezed into the top four. But he, he remedies all that. And then from there, they've won five titles in six years. You had the 100-point season. You had the domestic treble. You had the Champions League final defeat, 2021, to Thomas Tuchel's uh, Chelsea. The Guardiola era really is when it's... They've, the club has gone to the next level. So here they are, you know, if, if they do beat internationally, then, that, you know, you could say that not only have they won the treble and the Champions League, but in that particular competition, Champions League, they've really sort of, to use a bit of a cliche, owned that competition because no one's really got close to beating them.